Peace, peace, y'all. It's your boy Zulu King Street Fan 47, man. I've been on the run. Yeah, <coughs> you heard? So, I'm running around today. I've been wanting to do this video, but I just ain't really had a chance to do it. So, before I go in this store and do what I gotta do, I'm gonna hit y'all with some thoughts real quick. My thoughts on Julio Julio. <coughs> I used to fuck with your music. I fuck with your music. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I think, like, out of the whole uh, Young and Ace situation to him, I like the Fulio's music better. Um, I heard Young and Ace's uh, this. It was dropped 10 minutes after Fulio, Fulio got shot. After Fulio got shot. Matter of fact, Fulio was getting rolled in the ambulance when he dropped that song. It was like 10 minutes after he got shot, he dropped this song. And I think the song sucked. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's neither here or there. But... <coughs> What I think about the situation. I mean, damn, man. This is what, like, this this drill music, this is what is go, goes on. You know what I'm saying? It, I think the, the most craziest situation is, like I said, I like the Fulio song. That's, that remix he did with Fantasia. I like the Fantasia version already. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when he did, uh, went out to eat on his birthday, four shot, three dead in the worst way. It's crazy, because that's, like, exactly what happened to him. Except four was shot and one died and he was one person that died so it's crazy how that went around you know what i'm saying um i see they're really celebrating him dying and uh, all that type of stuff but i understand homie was involved in a lot of street stuff and all that so i really know he was really like terrorizing these dudes you know what i'm saying uh he was definitely terrorizing these dudes but um All these cats, all these cats that have been getting smoked in this rap game have a lot of things in common. At some point, they end up slipping and doing like stupid shit. You know, like, why would you, <coughs> a week before, you know you're in Florida. You're gonna be in Florida, right? You finna be in Florida. Not only you finna be in Florida, you got beef in your home city in Florida, Jacksonville, which is like two or three hours, three hours from Tampa. You know what I'm saying? A week in advance, you gonna put the address where you gonna be at on your birthday. Then you get to your Airbnb and you upload a video saying people got the address, pull up, pull up, push up, this and that. You're bugging. You understand what I'm saying? You're bugging. Um, you shouldn't even be out like that on your birthday when you got ops like that. You know what I'm saying? When when you when you've been shot, how many other times you've been shot? You know what I'm saying? And you got shot the last time in your foot with a chopper left a big ass hole in your foot. I seen the picture. You should be moving a lot smarter and a lot more militant. not put up the addy where you're going to be a week in advance. You gave the ops a week to get over there before you. Oh, he's going to be here in this day? They would have. They, they could have shot over there. You know what I'm saying? That, that night, a week before you, and been camped out, laid up, studying the area, how to get away, everything. So, you gave him a week advance of where you're going to be at. That's a mistake. Let's go to Mo Three. Mo Three went to a, a chick's house in his ops hood. Had a gun in a stash box. Why wasn't the gun on your lap? They ran him down on the highway. They shot him up on the highway. He got out and ran and ran him down. He didn't have his gun on him. It was in the stash box. All these cats got something in common. They they got caught slipping. That's one. The second thing is they all got that star ring. Man, Julio Fulio had that star ring. Uh, Mo3 had that star ring all the way down to Tupac that died in the rap beef. All of them had that star ring on. People could say I'm a conspiracy dude, all that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever. But it ain't no coincidence. It's not a coincidence all these cats got the same ring on and they all died. 
and this beef. You feel me? And the little beefs that they got. And these labels, a lot of them were signed to the same label, to Empire. So, um, my thoughts is, man, y'all know what it is, bro. You out here living like that. You wilding out. You in the streets. Y'all shooting shit up. Y'all getting shot up. If you continue like that, you're going to die. Or you're going to go to jail for murder. Or you're going to go to jail for having a gun on you. You're going to get caught with the gun on you multiple times. And they're going to send your ass up the road. The feds might pick it up. You never know. So you're going to go to jail. Or you're going to end up crippled. You know what I'm saying? You're going to end up missing limbs. You know what I mean? Uh, or in a wheelchair. You know what I mean? So those are your only options. If you continue to do that. And... Obviously, he continued to be in the streets doing that. And you taunted your, your, your enemies, bro. Like, you know, you're like telling people, pull up. You, you gave my address a week in advance. Um, it don't matter how deep you was. Because <clears throat> you could die with your gun on your lap. A lot of people die with their guns in their laps. A lot of people die with their guns in their hands. So, that don't matter. It's not a factor. Moving smart. You know what I'm saying? Moving smart. Uh, oh, I seen the video where he said, hey, I'm drinking and I don't really drink. You know what I'm saying? But, just moving smart, bro. Sometimes, I don't even go out of my birthday. You heard? I don't even go out of my birthday. I be like this in my head. I be like, Man, I spent so many of my birthdays in the box. Not regular jail, in the box, in jail and in prison. I don't spend birthdays. So, you know, it's not nothing. I might get my little bottle or whatever it is. If I'm going to drink, do whatever, I'm going to be wherever I'm at. But I'm locked up somewhere. Not in jail, I'm saying out in the street. I'm going to be in a house somewhere. I might, you know what I'm saying? I might be at somebody's house. I might be at my crib. I'm going to be somebody, somewhere that is not out in the public. You know what I mean? I ain't going to be out there in the public all crazy, wide open on my birthday. You know what I mean? I want to live past my birthday. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people go out and celebrate things and put themselves in situations, man, that... That's real crazy, you know what I mean? Like, you could have just chilled indoors somewhere, but you want to put your face on the flyer. And not only put your face on the flyer, you want to, with an address, where I'm going to be at for my birthday, go on IG Live, yo, push up, this and that. It was a bad, stupid move, man. And it costed that jit his life, you know what I mean? Um, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I like the jit music. Cause I'm a, I'm listen, I I, I like the, I, I like MOP, you know what I'm saying? I like that punch you in the face music. I like that thugged out music, you know what I'm saying? I like conscious music too, but I like that thugged out music. Even when you went to the crunk era down south, you know what I'm saying? I just like that type of music. You know what I mean? So I fucked it with Jit's music, man. I ain't gonna lie. But he did, you know, said they say a lot of disrespectful shit, he did a lot of disrespectful stuff. And it's crazy that he died on his birthday, just like he said in a song about Young and Ace's um, um, brother. Now, Young and Ace is a, is a dumbass for dropping that song 10 minutes after Fulio got killed. Because now you just made yourself a primary suspect. Like, like you, they're going to be watching you. You know what I'm saying? On social media, they're going to be watching everybody that's involved with either side of the, uh, Fulio's gang or Young and Ace's gang. They're going to be watching all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? You just put yourself in the middle, like, on the front lines. Like, just telling on yourself on the front lines, which is crazy. I don't understand, like, why would you do that? Homie got shot. You drop a video. Do it. I told him to do it. You're, you might as well go to the police station. Just go knock on the door. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, the police said they already got it tied to people in Jacksonville. That it was nobody from Tampa. It was not. They didn't have no tech connections to Tampa, other than the murder happening there. That it was already tied to Jacksonville. So the police already know who you is. 
know what I'm saying? And they know everything, because you already know, once one of these cats get caught up, they finna tell everything, you know what I'm saying? So, I think Young and Ace was a dumbass for even dropping that video. He should have just left still quiet, you know what I'm saying? Just People are already gonna think it's coming from that side, so just stay quiet, why would you? You know what I'm saying? Then I seen somebody else. I forgot who it was. They try to act like they had something. They want to take a picture where he got killed, like they had something to do with it. You know, you could tell that he was really terrorized. He was really terrorizing these dudes, and they were they didn't like him. They hated him. You know what I'm saying? They were scared of him. They hated him or whatever. You're gonna have all these people dissing them and doing all that stuff. Like this them on songs, but you're gonna have all these memes that they got coming out and all that stuff like that. Or about all these other rappers that they wasn't really saying nothing when he was alive. You know what I'm saying? Um, but my thoughts is. If you're going to be in the streets, man, and you're going to have ops, and you're going to be riding around with 30s and guns, and people are shooting at you, and you're getting shot, and you done been shot multiple times, and you almost lost a leg because you got hit with a chopper, and you've been survived these shootings, you got a cat like nine lives, you know what I'm saying? You're like a cat with nine lives. Don't post your address where you're going to be at a week in advance, man, because you're giving your enemies, you're walking into a trap. You're gonna walk yourself right into a trap, right into the lion's den. And that's what happened with Julio Fulio to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I fuck with Jit music, man. You know what I mean? I, um, but I, I Jit shot himself, man. Jit shot himself in the foot, dog. You know what I'm saying? Not, not no pun intended that he already had got shot in the foot, but Jit shot himself in the foot by giving away his location a week in advance. You know what I mean? Because just because they know where you at, they, they, you know what I'm saying? They could follow you from there and all that. <laughs> like they already know, man. They watch you. There, I would have been there a week, that a week early. When you did that, I would have been there that week, waiting the whole week, keeping the scene riding around. You know what I'm saying? You gave them a week to lay up. You know what I mean? So uh, you was definitely bugging, man. Um, rest in peace to Fulio, man. You know what I mean? But he was definitely bugging. Um, those are my thoughts, man. I don't know. Y'all beat me in the comments. Let me know what you think, man. Um, yeah, Jit, Jit, Jit moves sloppy, man. It cost him his life, man. So if you're going to be out there in them streets, I suggest you don't because that's the only way you're going to end up is doing a, a gang of time or dead. But you got to know how to move. And, um, you know, slippings do count. You know what I'm saying? So you, you're always going to get caught slipping someday. You know what I mean? Some of us survive those slips. Some of us don't. You know what I mean? And fool your day, man. It's your boy, Super King Street Fan 47. Y'all know what it is. We all gas, no brakes. If you ain't gonna be good, be safe. You heard? <laughs>